Sunday in Belfast. A Sabbath day in this capital city of Northern Ireland is considered by many a stranded visitor to be about as somber an experience as it's possible to get. The pubs are soundly shut. The cinemas are closed too, and of course the dance halls. The city hall broods silent and can't be open, not even for a symphony concert or an oratorio. The swings in the park are chained and silent. Sunday in Belfast is a declaration of where you stand with God. It's a day for church going. No cause here to bewail falling congregations and empty churches. Visitors may complain that there is nothing to do on a Belfast Sunday. The local reply is that there are churches enough to go to, and they are all open on Sundays. And when they do go to service, they go looking as well as they possibly can. Here, the words Sunday best still mean something, something well worth going to church to see. Best hats and Bibles. For the children, perhaps, Sunday clothes, Sunday sermons and Sunday manners still make it a day to endure rather to enjoy, a day of discipline and good behavior. Only a generation ago, whistling on a Sunday was a whipping matter. And it's still a day for stiff collars and sitting up straight. But there is at least one group of children in this city who find Sunday a day as rich with sensation and emotion as X films and cherry trifle, who will always remember their childhood Sundays as the most highly colored, rip-roaringest day of the week, whose Sunday afternoons in particular are full to bursting. Their Sunday school begins in the church at three o'clock. What follows now is merely a camera summary of the next three hours in the lives of the children, or of some of the children, in the parish of the Holy Cross Church, Belfast. Between three and 3.30, the priest shows them inside the gates of heaven. When you die, the body goes to dust, but the soul goes to heaven. And what is heaven? Heaven is the lovely and beautiful place where you have everything you could ever want. Heaven is where every day is like Christmas Day. When you don't go to school, you have lots of beautiful presents, nice things to eat and drink. In heaven, every day is Christmas Day. But how do we get into this beautiful place? We must be in a state of grace. So the priest gives them his idea of heaven. A heaven that would appeal to the innocent little children like these. A mixture of marble halls and loaded Christmas trees. And they listen, fascinated, certainly. But would they really want to go there, if heaven were really like that? Most of the children in the congregation are clutching their shillings in their pockets, the precious shilling that will enable them to enter the next phase of their Sunday afternoon's experience. The shilling that will admit them to the joys, not of all the saints perhaps, but of Ray Reno and the Crescendos, who play at the school hall after Sunday school is over. Actually, for most of these children, heaven is only a minute away, in the school hall next door. They're actually going to heaven right now. They may not yet be in a state of grace, but to get in here, all you need is that silver shilling. The service is over and the shake begins.
choir boys have stopped now, and the Belfast sound is made up by 1,500 pounds worth of electronic equipment. Three 200 pound guitars, a premier drum set, and three amplifiers with names like the Thunderbird Twin. No further comment than to remind you that this is still Belfast on a Sunday afternoon around tea time.